As people in Gaza prepare for Ramadan, their excitement is mixed with tension. For many Gazans, the Muslim holy month is a time to come together with family and friends, to break fast and share meals. But for some, the memories of conflicts and wars, when they've previously celebrated, are casting a shadow. We want to feel the joy and happiness that Ramadan brings to our homes and our children. We have many sad memories, but we will not tie them with Ramadan. It's not fair to make this month a month of sorrow. We have prepared all essential foods and dates for our customers during this holy month. We know it's a difficult time, and if any escalation breaks, we'll have to store all these food and lose a lot. But we hope it will be fine, and people will enjoy Ramadan peacefully. Despite this, most Gazans are preparing for Ramadan with the same enthusiasm and joy they have every year. Families are busy decorating their homes, shopping for special foods and buying gifts for loved ones. What you see behind me is called the colored neighborhood by the people here. They've painted pictures on the walls of their homes to celebrate and welcome the coming of the holy month of Ramadan. Life has been unstable in Gaza for many years, with ongoing conflict and frequent outbreaks of violence. But recent tensions have been particularly high, with fighting between Israeli forces and Palestinians in the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem. And that sparked fears of a wider conflict. Hamas, I believe, uh, with the mediation of Egypt and other regional and international countries has been restrained from escalating the situation with Israel. But let me also add that if Israel keep pushing uh, against the Palestinians in Nablus and Jenin and within Al-Aqsa Mosque, that might lead to a very limited uh, escalation with, with Israel, which might not last very long. The international community has repeatedly expressed concern about the rising tensions in the occupied territories. The United Nations has also expressed concern, but about the potential impact of any conflict on those in Gaza, whose lives are already precarious. Yumna Sayyid, Al Jazeera, Gaza.